All right, you guys, um, I had to switch gears. I had to get off the plow truck for a minute. Um, I've been driving my Tundra to work. Because uh, <laughs> guess what? My Audi's having some issues. It's not real big ones, actually. Uh, this headlight's going out. When you turn it on, it's like a... Let me see if I can turn it on. I'll show you. I don't know if I had the keys. There they are. Found them. So, whoa, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that in camera, but that's flickering in the camera. It's not out here. It must be because they're LEDs. Um, but you can see this is the main headlight, how bright it is. Look at this one. It's almost like a pink color. Um, so I know this light's going bad. Um, when the headlights on this thing go bad, it kicks out the thing. It says like uh, dipper, dipper light not working, something like that. Which I, I'm not sure what a dipper light is, but <laughs> that's what it says in the dash. Um, I've had this problem multiple times. Usually it's this one because the, the lens is cracked. You guys know I bought this car wrecked. So, um, yeah, normally it's that one, but uh, it's this one this time. I This happens quite a bit on this car. It's like maybe once or twice a year. So I always have extras laying around. Uh, I had these in the glove box. They're a pretty fancy one. You're supposed to wear these white gloves to put them in. I usually don't. Um, but that's the bulb itself. They come pretty special packaging. Yeah. They're fancy. Like the rest of this freaking car. Fancy just means pain in the butt most days. Um, let me turn these headlights back off while I'm doing this. Uh, it's pretty simple though, guys. Uh, literally this whole headlight assembly pulls out this way. You just got to get to a few bolts here. So um, you got to undo this one on the upper bracket here. Uh, there's another one. Get you a flashlight. I technically already took it out, but um, this one you don't actually have to take out. You just got to loosen it. It's right down there. Uh, you can see that's kind of a horseshoe shape. So you only got to loosen that one. I actually took it out all the way um, on accident. And then there's one more right back here. It's also a horseshoe shape. So you just got to loosen it. And then this whole assembly will slide this way. Um, I'll see if I can set you guys up here. And do this well all right try to get this thing out I'm gonna loosen that other bolt back here they are t30s I believe yeah t30 yeah t30s um, the bolt you guys <laughs> wonder why that wasn't coming out we gotta take this rest of it off bolts up here I forgot there's one more right here and you just got to loosen it you guys and it slides yeah because it's kind of a horseshoe shape like that and the bolt comes in it that probably looks dirty All right, you got to undo this plug, you guys. Uh, there's not enough cord to allow it to slide all the way out. Since my car has been wrecked, it's pretty hard to get it by this front plastic piece. Um, it's also a little tough to get it to go back in. All right, so the whole headlight comes out like that, you guys. Um, it's a pretty big assembly. 
um, but it's all one piece. Um, right in here, maybe you guys can see this. Right in here is your headlight. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's got a little connection there. And these things twist in, so you twist them, pull them out. Like that. Then you just undo them from the clip. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, you guys. Yeah, so undo the clip, it comes out. Put the new one in, it pushes in, locks. Uh, then you just slide the whole assembly back in. Um, but you can see these are those kind of U-shaped hooks. So there's one, two, third one right here that's up underneath that cowl. And then your top bolt up here to hold the assembly in. Uh, you do gotta disconnect this to get it to slide out. Um, on the bottom of these assemblies, they have uh, these little slots right here. And this one, these actually clip into a piece of plastic in the car. Maybe I can show you. This is the, the bracket that the headlight sits in. There's three clips essentially that those kind of fingers stick into and that holds the headlight into this piece of plastic. Then there's one bolt, there's one bolt, there's one, another one's right there. So there's one, two, three, four bolts that hold this headlight in into this bracket here so um you can see why it's a little hard because this bracket is actually lower than the fender so you kind of got to wiggle it in there it's it's not fun especially because this is actually going downhill a little bit <sighs> and this is kind of going that way it's a little pain i'm about to get in it's not horrible but it's just not great um yeah so and you can't literally can't get the light bulb out with the assembly in the car you got to pull the whole assembly Okay, maybe you don't have to, but that's the easiest way for me to do it. Uh, just pull the whole assembly out and put the new bulb in and put the whole assembly back in. So um, we'll get the bulb installed and I'll get this thrown back in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. So this is the new bulb. See how clear that bubble is inside? Look at this one. It's like frosted in the middle of that bubble right there. Uh, that's kind of how you know that they're going bad. Essentially, it's popped and it's essentially melting down. Um, eventually, that will just, I think that center breaks or it's just completely white when they're bad. Um, but this is a brand new one, so we're gonna throw it in. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Sometimes these can be a little, I don't know, kind of fight you a little bit, but we'll see. All right, you guys, so when you put these in here, uh, this actually needs to sit straight up and down. Um, it's literally just a quarter, like a 16th of a turn. You see how that just kind of turned? Then it'll pop out and pop in, so. You kind of start at an angle, this is a little tough, and then you turn it just a little bit. Because um, you can see it has this, this kind of barb going up here, this electrode, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what the hell it is. Um, but yeah, you got to make sure you don't break that because when you there's like a ceramic coating on the outside of it, I believe it is. Um, just make sure you don't break that when you're sticking it in there, bouncing around. Because it's not super tight, but it's there's not a ton of clearance. Um, I always put the light bulb in, and then I put the connector on. Um, just kind of make sure you push it in there, you get everything lined up. And then your cap goes back on. It's just quarter twist and it's in. Now well, we'll stick that back in there. See how that goes. It actually went in pretty easy, you guys. I'm surprised. Uh, I did have all my bolts loose here, here, and here. Back down in there. Um, and it went right in the clips, actually. It actually went right right in. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, before I even bolt it down, I'm going to plug it in and make sure it's working. Hey, look at that it's bright again yeah now they're the same color um, we're not getting that pink hue like we were off of this one so yeah pretty simple guys you know how I am about mechanic and that's probably one of the easier easier things that I've, I have to do around here it's almost like scheduled maintenance on this car <laughs> 
I'm gonna start giving Audi a bad rap with all these videos of me fixing this damn thing. That's all there is to that. Ooh. Two beans. One more thing off my list. Oh, you guys fell over. All right. I'm gonna get back on this plow truck here, you guys. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna work on.